Imagine a sphere where gravity surrenders to raw power, where the laws of physics bend to the boundless creativity of human ingenuity. Within this dynamic setting, two airborne predators, the Dassault Rafale and the Saab Gripen, emerge as prominent figures. Their streamlined profiles cut through the sky, engines producing a robust hum that disrupts the peaceful ambiance. As they move through the clouds, casting momentary shadows on the ground below, they represent a blend of refined design and functional precision. However, beyond their shared quest for supremacy, distinct disparities shape their journeys to triumph. Which jet would truly claim the crown? Stay tuned as we delve into the intricacies of their aerial interactions, exploring their origins, performance attributes, technological advancements, strategic implications, and their roles in shaping the future of aerial warfare. The Dassault Rafale traces its roots back to the 1980s when Dassault Aviation embarked on designing a versatile multi-role fighter. The Rafale was conceived to replace an array of aging aircraft within the French military, emphasizing adaptability across various mission profiles, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. In contrast, the Saab Gripen, born from Swedish ingenuity in the late 1980s, was conceptualized as a lightweight, agile, and cost-effective fighter. It aimed to meet the needs of the Swedish Air Force and attract international customers seeking a versatile, affordable solution. These divergent origins set the stage for a fascinating comparison of design philosophies and strategic priorities. The Dassault Rafale is renowned for its impressive speed and range capabilities, boasting a top speed of Mach 1.8 and a combat radius of approximately 1,000 kilometers. This allows the Rafale to cover vast distances swiftly, making it well suited for a spectrum of operational scenarios from rapid response missions to extended range sorties. The Saab Gripen, while not matching the Rafale's top speed, maintains a commendable maximum speed of around Mach 2 and a combat radius of approximately 800 kilometers. The Gripen's agility and adaptability make it a versatile platform, particularly suitable for air forces with diverse operational requirements. The Rafale's larger size affords it a significant advantage in terms of payload capacity. With the capability to carry a diverse array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, including precision-guided bombs and cruise missiles, the Rafale excels in its ability to handle a wide spectrum of missions. The Gripen, on the other hand, being a smaller aircraft, has a more limited payload capacity but compensates with nimbleness and flexibility. Notably, the Gripen's ability to operate from shorter runways enhances its operational flexibility, making it suitable for a broader range of airfields. Both the Rafale and Gripen showcase cutting-edge radar technology, enhancing their capabilities in the ever-evolving and complex battle space. The Rafale's RBE-2 ASA radar is a technological marvel, offering superior target detection and tracking capabilities. Its electronic scanning technology enables rapid and precise target identification, providing the Rafale with a significant edge in situational awareness. Similarly, the Gripen, equipped with the PS-05A radar, also an ASA radar, delivers excellent performance, particularly noteworthy given the Gripen's relatively smaller size. These state-of-the-art radar systems contribute significantly to both aircraft's effectiveness in dynamic combat environments. Survivability in modern air warfare hinges on robust electronic warfare capabilities, a strength shared by both the Rafale and Gripen. The Rafale integrates a comprehensive electronic warfare suite, encompassing radar warning receivers, electronic support measures, and countermeasures dispensing systems. This formidable electronic warfare suite enhances the Rafale's capacity to operate in contested environments, effectively countering threats. 
Similarly, the Gripen features advanced electronic warfare systems that provide a high level of protection against various threats. The effectiveness of these systems is pivotal in securing a tactical advantage and ensuring the aircraft's survivability amid constantly evolving threats. The economic considerations associated with the acquisition and operation of fighter jets are crucial factors for any nation. The Gripen has earned a reputation for being a cost-effective solution, attributed to its smaller size, modular design, and ease of maintenance. These characteristics contribute to lower operating costs, making the Gripen an attractive option for air forces with budget constraints. In contrast, the Rafale, while a more expensive option up front, offers a broader range of capabilities and a larger payload capacity. The trade-off between upfront costs and long-term operational expenses becomes a critical element in the decision-making process for defense procurement. The assessment of a fighter jet's overall financial impact extends beyond acquisition and operating expenses to encompass maintenance, upgrades, and eventual retirement or replacement, known as life cycle costs. The Gripen's affordability may position it favorably in terms of life cycle costs, with its modular design and ease of maintenance contributing to cost effectiveness. On the other hand, the Rafale's extensive capabilities and potential for technological upgrades may justify its higher upfront investment over the entire operational life of the aircraft. The Rafale and Gripen have actively sought international markets vying to position themselves as top choices for air forces worldwide. Notably, the Rafale has clinched significant sales in countries like Egypt, India and Qatar, attesting to its global appeal and proven performance. On the other hand, the Gripen, tailored to cater to the needs of smaller air forces, has successfully secured contracts with nations such as Brazil, Hungary and the Czech Republic. The diverse international market presence of these aircraft underscores the varying requirements and preferences of different countries. Beyond their success in securing international deals, both the Rafale and Gripen have demonstrated their prowess in real-world conflicts. The Rafale has seen action in Afghanistan, Libya and Mali, showcasing its effectiveness across diverse operational environments. Similarly, the Gripen has actively participated in conflicts like the Afghan War and the Libyan Civil War, demonstrating its resilience and adaptability under fire. Pilots who are acquainted with both aircraft often emphasize their distinct strengths, with the Rafale being lauded for its dogfighting prowess and the Gripen for its tactical versatility. Declaring a definitive champion in this aerial duet is a challenging endeavor. The true victor lies not in a singular title, but in the strategic harmony each jet offers to its respective partner. Which one do you vote for? Share with us in the comment below.